Hi and welcome to forum traffic generation. What I'm going to do in the next couple of videos is actually show you how to use forums to generate traffic to your own sites, your blogs, um, possibly even sales pages, um, but definitely to um, landing pages. Obviously most of you will know what a forum is um, if you don't that's exactly what you're in right now you're in a forum looking at these videos now obviously you're going to recognize this one um, basically go to a forum just similar to the this one here you won't find one as good as this because in my mind I'm not just saying this because I'm running this section of the forum I mean as far as I'm concerned this is probably the best forum on the internet by far um, I've not found a forum that even matches this closely I wish I could find one because it'd be another great source of information and, and education for people right enough of building up the forums <laughs> right okay yeah it's all about going to forums and about getting people from the forum to visit your site whatever you do do not go to a forum and spam it if you do you are going to get your posts deleted or worse still you're going to find yourself with the access to your forum being taken away now what actually happens is that even on this forum here our own forum you've probably seen them you get people come in they make their first post and straight away they're up trying to sell something or do something um, that's not allowed and just like any other forum the moderators here our own moderators jump on them from a great height this one here look it's in the main forum uh, it's potential dollar making some sort of thing that was there and as you can see it's got here thread deleted by Eric reason spam that's what's going to happen if you go into a forum and post some sort of message like that this is not the way to do it what I'm going to do is show you the correct way of doing things now first thing you need to do obviously you need to find some forums and this is very easily done all you need to do is type in your keyword or your niche niche or niche whichever you want to call it uh, followed by a plus sign and a forum okay so let's try something I'm going to try something off the top of my head I could fall flat on my face here um, okay um, very keen amateur photographer so I'm going to put photography and put the plus sign in and then the word forum and all you do is click enter or return or search and there we go we've got photography forums here the talk photography forum the photo forum world photography forum the photography and camera discussion forum okay what you want to have a look at is concentrate on these top 10 at the moment and the way I tend to do it I back click on it and I open it in a different tab and I work my way down the page setting up these separate tabs that are appearing here as a way of quickly going off and having a look at some of the forums because some are going to be better than others okay so here we are we're going to go to this one here there we go photography forum and what you want to try and do is get the forum details up and have a look see what's happening here and with some of these you'll actually be able to get access into them I think this is still loading at the moment it's still trying to load this one up now the thing you need to be looking for is how popular um, the forum is how often posts are being made and you need to make sure that they're not just being made by one or two members because if they are then you can almost guarantee that the people making them posts possibly the forum owner and maybe two or three moderators that he's he or she's got to try and help them make 
the forum look better than what it actually is. Now this is one of the ways you can look at this. Right now for starters, look at this photography and basic camera forum is I've accidentally clicked on here. Now I want to go back a step and show you what I was looking at just now to give you some idea if a forum is relevant or not. Here we go, look, photography and camera. This is the basic forum. There's also one here for tricks and tips on photography. It's one for photography chat. Now look here, threads in this one alone is 1,282. Post is 11,000. Nearly 12,000 there. The next one down for tips, there's 564 threads and 5,500 5 posts. And how about this photography chat forum? There's 6,298 threads, but 60,592 posts. Now, this is very good, this one, because this is giving a lot of information away. When was the last post made in this one? 10 minutes ago. Photography tips and trips was two days ago, which is not surprising because you know there'd be more people in here reading the tips than actually posting. But post made here three minutes ago, um, two days ago, 13 hours ago. I mean, this is looking very good in actual fact. So, what I'm going to do is click on this one. Now, even without signing up, you can usually get access and, and see what's being posted. And you'll find that you'll get be able to do that on some of the most popular ones because they know they've got nothing to hide. There we go. Now these here, all these red ones, they posted quite a while ago. But as you can see, these are all what they call stickies. These are being put there by moderators, giving information so that it cuts down the number of posts appearing in the main forum. It also give um, general information, maybe you know, uh, guidance and education in certain aspects, like in this forum you're in at the moment. Now you can actually um, go in there and put replies, but you can't actually start a new thread in it because this is a sticky and, and no one else is allowed to do that. Apart from, you know, moderators or anyone we ask to actually help us out here. Right now, there we go. We've got one here. Look, 13 minutes ago, someone made a, now that's sticky. Where are we? One twenty-eight, one hours ago, one day ago, um, one day ago, three days ago. Now these are going back a few days in this one, which is a little bit worrying. But let's have a look. Doesn't mean that it's not actually a good forum. You can say the stickies are going to be a few weeks old anyway. They could be months old. Um, one day ago. See that would make it's now Saturday, so that would make it Friday. Now I don't know about you, but I've noticed in a lot of forums they go a bit quiet in, in the weekends because obviously people with real lives, I'm not me. People with real lives are away with their families, having some a great time. I'm sat here making videos, but that says a lot about me. But anyway, I <laughs> say so just check the different forums, and then what you need to do is find one. That you like the look of and is getting a lot of threads now I'll come to this one here that's 20,000 threads what's that over a quarter of a million posts uh, 289 25,000 threads again over a third of a million posts I mean this is looking very busy this forum and um, what I'm going to actually do I'm, I'm going to decide now I'm going to register with this one so what you need to do is check that all the posts are relevant, which I mean, it's getting a lot of posts. I mean, look, it's day 11.34, today 10.41, today 11.39, today 11.39, today 11.24. These are all in the last half hour, last hour that the posts are being made. And it's all different people as well. So what I'm going to do, let's have a look. There's a lot of different stuff going on on this forum, so it's giving me a very good indication that this is a very popular forum. And what you need to do is find, it's usually some rules. Here we go, check the rules. So that's your next step. Once you check that it's a relevant forum, it's getting a lot of regular posts by different people, you then need to check the rules because if you're not getting the rules right, then you can get yourself kicked out of a forum. 
Now I'm just going to quickly go through these rules. You just want to have some guidelines really about what you can do. Um, let's have a look. Site account. It's basically saying that you've got uh, the ability to make posts and threads once you're a member. And what we're actually looking for is to make sure that you can also have a signature. And in your signature, you can have a link back to your website. Links to commercial sites by members. Well, now this is going to be our own private site, so we might be able to get registered. Right, promotional details of or links, URLs to affiliate, commission, referral, pyramid, or multi-level marketing schemes. Um, so this may not be a good forum to actually put a link in your website. Uh, sorry, a link in your signature. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the um, forum and I just want to have a look at some of the posts and see if anyone's got links on their signatures. Let's have a look. Oh, find one with some replies. Here we go. Common abbreviations. Now this is a sticky so it might not have anything. Um, has someone got a link in here? Forum regular. And he just put I recommend PT for you. Now I'm just going to have a quick look at this. See what he's actually promoting here. It's a training site. Now that's interesting because he's allowed that link and he's not been banned. So maybe they're not as hot on links as there's another one here. Look, yeah, there's one here. They're linking back for yeah. I mean, I would actually look at joining this forum and then looking to see what other people are doing on there and if they've got signatures then I'd be looking to put a signature in. What you need to do then, um, you need to find probably to start with three, two or three forums or you can go out and you can find about 10 or 15 forums that are relevant. You don't have to go off and sign up to them all in one go, you can do it a couple at a time. You then need to go and register with the forum that you want to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to register for this one. So most registrations are all the same. They have a few rules here. Now so I'm joining this one because this looks good for what I want to do in my spare time. But if I'm going to allow be allowed a link in my signature, then I'll obviously find a photography product because then you know, if you're going to pick up a few sales out of it, it's well worth doing. So, just putting that password here, which I'm being very silly because I could have done this, couldn't I? I could have used my uh, Fireform one. There we go. Just make sure that's gone in right because I started to type that in before I've done it. There we go. Let's put an email address. Um, there we go. Month, December. Let's put the rest of my date of birth in there. Display age, full date of birth. You can hide it. I'm, I'm not fussed about that being shown. It doesn't really bother me. No, no one referred me. And they're asking for a real first Christian name if you're willing to, or your first name if you're willing to share it. I'm, I've got no problem about that. Okay, now that's all you need to do to sign a forum. Now you must have done it, otherwise you wouldn't be on these forums. So, right. So it's sending an email to me so that I can activate. Activate my site okay now once you've had your site activated what you can do you can actually go onto the site or onto the forum and start making posts what you should not do this is what you should not do go onto the forum set up your signature and then put in a post and say come and take a look at this site. That is the quickest and best way to get yourself kicked out of the forum. In your first post, you should go to where it says like this, welcome on board or, or start here. Introduce yourself. Tell them about something about yourself. You're going to join this and the secret is you've got to become accepted as a valued member. This is where so many people go wrong when they try to use forums for marketing or getting traffic. In the next video, what I want to do, I want to take you a step further and show you the ways to drive traffic from forums that you've joined. And you know, you can also have links in your signatures. I'll show you how to set up a signature file as well. Okay, so next video is below this. Go and take a look at it. If you've got any questions, pop them into the into the space below and, and I'll get them answered for you. I'll see you in the next video.